And I can't see any other candy corn. Oh, there they are. The candy corn's on. Oh, shoot. I was like right in front of the candy corn. <laughs> Troops, welcome back to the Latana Army. I'm Lit, and this is Fortnite Save the World. And we're finally getting around to reviewing this, the Candy Corn LMG. I've been really looking forward to this since it came into the store. Now, what I'm trying to do on the channel and make things a little bit different is I'm trying not to rush weapons up and just kind of do the review on a weapon that's all mishmashed up. So, you know, very kindly, Aris and C3P Aero have actually helped me out get this gun, and we've perked it out just how I like it. It's really cool because these guys are actually helping me get these tailor made guns. I'm telling them the perks that I want on it, and, you know, they're just basically delivering and this is an awesome weapon that I can't wait to show you guys now before we get started though check this out I've actually got this this new e-win chair now I said what I would do I, for those of you that follow me on Twitter you'll know the background story behind this chair what happened is I got offered the chair for free uh, in exchange for like a sponsorship so we kind of negotiated a little bit uh, if you put Latana into their website you actually get 10% off these chairs now which is great I was really worried about being a bit of a you know a bit of a sellout and, and taking free stuff to do the reviews but I'm really glad that I did. You know, I did a poll on there and something like 96% of people said, do you know what? Get the chair lit. We want to see it anyway. So, do you know, there it is. It's an absolute wicked chair. I'll just take you onto the website really quickly. Okay, so this is the one that I've actually got then. So, I went for the E-Win Europe Flash Normal Series FLA Ergonomic Office Gaming Chair with free cushions. It's absolutely wicked. I'll just go through the, the screenshots there with you if you look at those. They look absolutely awesome. So, that is what I am sat on right now and it's just an absolute beast. It was so easy to put together as well and you know all just clipped in it's got the little PewDiePie thing there do you know that actually flies back so if you want to go all the way back you know you want to know can your chair do this yes this chair can do this <laughs> It goes all the way back. It's absolutely wicked, you know. Me and the kids were really excited. The kids helped me put it up yesterday. It took us about 10 minutes to put it up. It was so, so easy. £364, and it's there. It's ranking in, rocking in now at £310. And they've got a USA website as well that they've all got that. They're doing a Veterans Day sale at the minute. Mr. David Dean, you might want to reach out to these guys. And if we go down here, this is what sold me on the chair, though. Check this out. One of my favorite YouTubers, Boogie2988, has actually got this chair as well. And he's got his little... What dog is that? I want to say Chihuahua, but maybe it's not. Maybe it's a Cavalier King Charles. I don't know. But look, all these cool people. So Pori has got it. Disrupt, Team Fusion, Buggy. All, you know, uh, you've got Misfire there as well. So I just thought it was awesome. So I just wanted to basically say to you guys, if you go onto the website, use the promo code Latana, and, you know, you can get one of these chairs with extra money off as well. They've already got 20% off. The Latana code will actually get you even more money off as well. And you too can have one of these awesome chairs. So these guys are now officially sponsoring the channel. If you want to be this happy... <laughs> then get one of these chairs because they're absolutely awesome. But without further ado, let's jump in to this candy corn LMG and look just how awesome it is. Okay then, so these are the rolls that we got on it then. So we've got crit rating on there and we've got double crit damage. So we've got a really strong crit build on this as well. It's got reload speed 75%, which is one thing that I love because, you know, my play style is all about fast reload speeds. Magazine size is slightly better for sustained damage. It's just the way that I play. I just prefer the quick reload so that I can get the bump on first shot reel so that I can get the fire rate out there as well. And it's got physical damage as well. I don't think you can change that on there just simply because it fires candy cones. It's a bit like the egg launcher, I guess, in that sense. And it says down here, I saw weapon light machine gun fort nightmares a heavy festive weapon with a huge magazine size full of candy shaped bullets most effective at mid-range engagements when aiming down the sights at a fixed position so this it looks like a hacksaw but it's actually got the stats of a terminator now some people you know are saying this could this is a bit of a lazy build and do you know what the actual aesthetics of it and the the paint job on it's not as good as what the grave digger was it's kind of just like a almost like they've just changed the colors on it or just done it to give it a quick paint job They've got the same pumpkin face on there. But, you know, let me know what you think down below. Is this a lazy effort or is it decent? I, th I quite like it at the minute. I think it's all right. I just think we need new guns with them new perks. The Founders Revolt uh, we were talking about yesterday with Aiden Harris when he was on the channel. The Founders Result Revolt is actually a great weapon because it's got that unique perk on it. People love it. And that's only an epic. Do you know? So this, I think that's pretty cool. I actually like the fact that they're just trying something new out. But let's jump into a mission and see just how well it actually holds up. So we're going to jump in private and actually fire this and see if this actual heal is healing candy actually works okay so the first thing we need to check is does it hurt now these are pl100 husks i'm only pl95 so i'm under leveled in this area but we have got a beastly crit build on this so i'm hoping for great things all right it kind of feels weird i can see the candy corn dropping everywhere 
Oh, all right. I actually want to take a little bit of damage. You know, so I actually want that to happen. <laughs> Not this much, though. All right, let's get it on the miss. Oh, no, 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 no. No blasters. No. All right, let's move around. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. Do you know what? I'm just going to have to use the... I'm going to have to use the actual heal there for a minute. Look, we're not going to come out of this okay either way. So, we're okay. Right, you can go down. Take her. So, what's it like against Miss Monsters? All right. The reload kind of killed me there. And I can't see any other candy corn. Oh, there they are. The candy corns are on. Oh, shoot. I was, like, right in front of the candy corn. <laughs> that would have been such a good test. Why? Yeah, I ain't done with you yet. I ain't done. So I'm trying not to pick up the candy corn because I want to take some hits. All right. All right. Okay. This is PL100. Don't forget. We're over leveled. We've got the crack shot cow, but no, no, no. We don't want to die. Die. You know, we don't want to actually fully die. Hey, there we go. All right. So we're down to a little bit of health. Let's have a look how much this actually... Oh, we're just running through it, do we? Okay. Oh, wow. I think we could have survived that, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I was like an inch of moving forward to actually surviving that first knockdown. All right, good. And we had a taker, and he took the taker down pretty darn fast, to be fair. All right, more testing, more testing. Is that a smasher? Is that a smasher, sir? Oh, no, it's a husky husk. Let's reload then. Pop war cry. And, you know, just so that we can get the full fire rate out of it. Oh, look, they are big numbers. Fast reload, because he's got the reload speed on it. Oh, nice. Nice! Alright, this isn't bad at all. It doesn't feel as meaty as what some do. But it's still pretty good. Oh, now that is a missed monster. Excuse me, sir. Oh, and he's charging, he's charging, he's charging. No. Right, stick out his friends. Where'd he go? He never... <laughs> there he is. Alright, let's just get behind this. Can't charge you this, can't charge you this. Alright, you can walk around it, though. All right, so here we go. I actually want to take a few hits, so come on. Hit me. Hit me. <laughs> I mean, I couldn't melt that. What the hell did you come from? All right, I'm taking the hit on purpose there, just so you know. <laughs> I actually want to take a little bit of damage here. All right, here we go. That aimed all right. Okay, so here we are. Look, I mean, I can just melt that. The numbers are good. Numbers are good. Did that drop any candy? I don't feel like it did. Oh, there's some up there, look. Just a little. All right. So it drops between one and three candy, I believe. Let's just see if it just drops it. Do we actually have to land hits for it to drop the candy? Let's empty this clip out. Into this wall. Zero candy. So I guess we're going to have to be making hits. Wow. And I've got full health from that. I saw a taker and a, a, taker and a blaster down here. So let's do what we do. So about 35k, 35 to 40k is landing on a normal shot. Wow, it's not quite quick enough to take the taker down. But it is with fire rate, so let's do that. Grab the candy. It does make a difference. It does add to the survivability, definitely. Okay, let's take you down. More candy. And look, we're back up to full health. All right, and what, have, what have I disturbed here? Oh, damn it, it's an encampment. No, it wasn't ready. Healing buff, though. All right, okay, okay. Let's just, let's just get the test back on track a second here. Because we seem to have come off the beaten track a little while. Okay. Where, where was that from? Oh, she's up there. Okay. Is she part of the encampment? No, she is not. Um, all right. The candy cone doesn't last forever by the look of it. So it does disappear after you've used it for a short while. Let's just go and get her. Okay, that's good. Supposed to stay still and just like burst fire it down the side. It's kind of like this. But you know, you don't have to do that. That's just like, there's no rules. Okay, good. God. See, risk versus reward. Jump in a pool of acid, get the candy. Worth it. Worth it. Oh, okay. So we've got a few of them here and we're only on half health. We have got a full shield though. Look, we're going to have to move and fire because. You know, death pools and all. Here we go. Wow, and look at all that candy. That's dropped loads, that one. And that's just took us nicely up to full health. That's good. Okay, do you know what? Let's let's reload and war cry and go on that taker. Reload, war cry, taker. 
Reload again. Yep, that's fast. Yeah, you gotta go, you gotta go, you gotta go. It's okay. Do you know what? I'm not sure how I feel about this just yet. It's actually not that bad. Look, the healing's on full. Your buddies can pick that up as well. So if you're on line and you've got friends playing with you as well, you can, you know, they can pick up the candy. So it's not just for you. Uh, I saw David Dean put the candy onto, uh, put the candy, put the put the LMG onto a defender. And that was a pretty good idea because the defender's then going to be dropping candy all the time everywhere else. Okay, so let's just look at numbers then. So what we got there. So these aren't too bad. About 27,000. Okay, that's gonna get messy. This could get messy, all right. So let's just like, I'm just gonna kind of pull them through here just to kind of regulate the flow a little bit. Because this is PL100, you gotta be smart. Okay, we got a lot of candy in there, so we're gonna get it, see if we can stay alive. Not good, not good. <laughs> Damn blasters, what is wrong with you guys? All right, here we go, we got the bees. All right, so who runs out of ammo in a weapon review? Latana does, that's who. <laughs> Damn it, bees. Okay, look, the blaster's gonna go down to the traps anyway. Let's run around and get this candy corn. Wow, all right. So it's not enough to like, get rid of the effects of a blaster, but he's still got quite a lot of survivability to it. There we go. All right, manageable, manageable. Okay, so this is quite a large wave then. We're just going to try it on this. So these are 94s then. We've just dropped down to a 94 area. Takes them out super simple. And look, she dropped a ton of candy down there. It's okay. For, if you're going to use it at your own level, this is great. It's fine. There's better guns out there that would have done that much, much quicker. But that's okay. Now, I want to try on this smasher. Just because I can kind of use it as a bit of a bullet shield to show off the damage. So at that range, we're looking at about, what? Anywhere between 19 and 20k. 23. Okay. Check your surroundings when doing smasher tests. <laughs> okay, so we've got no candy corns. Where's he gone? There he is. Alright, yeah, so you're looking at about, I don't know, 30k maxing out at. Takes them out quite easily, though. That's a non elemental smasher at that level. So guys, that's the Candy Corn LMG. So this was donated to me by C3P Aero and HCC Auris as well. So massive thank you to you guys for actually getting that to me. But if you look on there, you've got crit rating, you've got double crit damage, you've got a quick reload speed on there, and then you've got the element damage on there as well. And eliminating enemies with this weapon can spawn healing candy pickups. I quite like it. I do think this would probably be better on a defender. Is, still, is it lazy from Epic? I'm not too sure. I actually see this as a positive. You know, we've, we've got a new gun, we've got a unique skill, we've got Fortnite nightmares to be fair we've got everything that we're asking for i think one thing that's going to be important is that when the uh, creators so when alora sc criddle cradle and all those guys go over to the actual meeting with epic i think it's going to be important for them to actually say that we do need unique content this is the kind of stuff that we need but it's going to be important how creative they're going to be when they actually get there now there's a ton of normal things that we need fixing in the game you know we, obviously we want the candy valley story part two which is coming soon we want the twine peaks story not twine cheats as i said in harry's podcast yesterday but you know, we, we just need we just we just need a little bit of a rejuvenation. Personally, I would say make the cram session the, the norm. So make that just the norm uh, in the game. So that's how you get rewards in the game. And you know what? Keep doing things like this. I'd I'd rather have you know if you have ten guns like this where they're not perfect, and then you have one great gun, and then they bring out another twenty guns that aren't perfect, and then another great one. What a great game! Still, that's still good. That's still something we can all find. And you know what? One gun that's great to one person isn't going to be great to the next person. So everyone's completely different different uh, during what they actually like so try and stay off meta like the guns that you do like do you know and kind of stick with that just one last look then at this just before we close off so we've got the crit rating on there as well double crit damage reload speed on there element physical damage as well plus 44 damage and then you've got the healing candy as well i like it i think this is decent it's not going to be my go-to gun ever i'm not going to put this over a you know over a crankshaw over a tiger over a hunter killer over a salmon spectre and all the other great guns that are out there it's not going to be a top tier weapon but should you get it i think so i think this is absolutely great and definitely one worth getting but guys let me know what you think down below because i could you know i really enjoyed the comments yesterday 
today. The video didn't get as many views as what normal do. The Let's Talk podcasts never get as many views. But what they do get is a ton of comments. And I actually loved last night sitting down, going through the comments and chatting with you guys. So make sure you comment down below and let me know what you think of the Candy Corn LMG. But a huge thanks for watching, guys. If you're not part of the Latana Army already, sponsored by Ewing Gaming Chairs, may I add? <laughs> <laughs> then make sure you hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to drop a like as you leave, and I will catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching today, guys.